after the investment has been made, there will be the need to evaluate. The evaluation is done by matching the cost on the asset against the expected benefit to be derived from it. This matching of cost and investment will be done over the entire period for which the asset is supposed to serve the business. Okay. Now, you don't do this evaluation based on profit. You do it based on cash flow. The difference is that profit is calculated based on earnings. That is for the positive inflow. That is for the, the revenue. Expenditures are also done based on how they are incurred. So if I use electricity for today, for 10,000 cities, I have incurred that cost. Profit will record it as an expenditure. It doesn't necessarily mean I have paid for it. So you might have a profit of $100 million, but it's possible for you to only have $50 million in cash. Cash flow is done based on how monies go out and in of a business. Now, the asset is possible to have a residual or what we call a scrap value after its useful life. It is not always the case that when the asset has served the period for which it was intended, the value will be nil. It's possible for the asset to might be sold. So you get an asset that is supposed to produce 50,000 units for you within five years. After the five years, maybe you have the need to produce 100,000. So the capacity of the asset is no longer ideal. So you want to sell it off. The asset might still be in good shape, provided it is well maintained. There might be a business that is at a level of producing 50,000 or even 30,000 that will have need for it. So it's possible for you to sell it off and get some money. So that will also be an inflow cash flow wise to evaluate the investment decision. So cash flow deals with the actual movement of money in and out of a business. So cash inflow signifies the receipts of money whilst outflow deals with the spending. So if you buy a vehicle in cash, it's cash outflow. If you sell your inventory and receive money, that is inflow. So cash flow statement reports a business's inflow and outflow of cash within a particular period. So you prepare the profit, which will give you the value that you have had the surplus or the deficit that your operation has given you. You also need to check how much money that you generated or spent within that particular period so that you match the two. So you say you have made profit of 100,000. How much do you have in cash? So positive cash flow is when a business receives more money than they spent. And negative cash flow is the vice versa. When a business experiences more outflow than inflow. Profit is when there is surplus of revenue and not received over expenditure also incurred but not paid so it's possible for you to have revenue and they were all made on credit and have an expenditure in your business and they are all accrued they have not been paid okay so this is what we call the accrual basis you record revenue in your business the moment you have right to receive them. So I sell an item and I move the item to the customer's premises. At that point, I am entitled to be paid. So I have to record the revenue, even though the money has not reached my account. I have not received value for payment. That's what we call accrual. Cash basis is that revenue will only be recorded when payments have been made. That is how cash flow operates. Now, this does not consider cash flow. So let's test our understanding. Miriam buys a motor van for $500,000 on credit at 1st January 2020. On 31st May, she sold it for $650,000 cash. What is the profit and relevant cash flows for this transaction? Solution. The profit will be revenue $650,000 even though it was made on credit. The cost five hundred thousand dollars so the asset was sold for more than how much it cost so there will be a surplus of 
$150,000. The cash flow, on the other hand, will be an inflow of $650,000 because it was made for cash. There wouldn't be any outflow because the asset was bought without being paid for. So there will be a net positive cash flow of $650,000. So in as much as profit is recording $150,000, there will be cash in the business's account of $650,000, which they can use for any activity that they deem fit. On the other hand, the business cannot lay hold on the entire six hundred and fifty because they have five hundred thousand that they have to pay out. So whilst the business can boast of having six hundred and fifty thousand cash on hand, they are only entitled to one fifty because five hundred of it belongs to a third party.